A bill in Washington could affect your child's school lunch. It just passed a House committee today, and its critics are loud and angry about the possible changes. Our Rebecca Schleicher walks us through how this could impact schools here in Tennessee. Lori, we've all heard the grumblings about the strict guidelines on school lunches. They were championed by First Lady Michelle Obama a few years back. This bill allows schools to be more flexible with what they can offer, but goes much farther than just what's for lunch. It would seriously limit the schools that can offer meals for free to all their students. Here in Tennessee, more than 400 schools could lose those meals. In our area, that's dozens of schools from Bedford to Rutherford, Dixon to Sumner counties. It's a cost-saving measure, but it's garnering criticism from schools, doctors, and advocates across the country. We spend a lot of money educating our kids, and kids who are in a classroom and they're hungry actually are not going to benefit from being in the classroom. You know, providing school breakfast and school lunch to all kids um, helps to ensure that kids start the school day ready to learn and they're able to continue throughout the school day. Here's how it would work. Right now, schools with 40% of students below the poverty line can offer free lunches to everyone. Schools like it because it cuts admin costs and paperwork and gets rid of the stigma of the free lunch student. The bill raises that poverty threshold to 60% instead. To see if your school would be affected, head to NewsChannel5.com for the full list. Rory. Rebecca, thank you. We've reached out to our local U.S. congressman about the bill. Representative Jim Cooper says he is strongly against it. Marsha Blackburn says she hasn't fully reviewed it yet. We're still waiting to hear from both representatives Diane Black and Scott Desjardins. When we do, we'll post their full statements on our website.